This is such a big idea that random play can lead to predictable, expected outcome. And now we can treat this as a function to be optimized. Let's go back to the even odd game that we looked at before, where the payout matrix is negative two, three, three, negative four. Each player has two strategies. So let's say that players choose either one or two at random with some probability vectors. So player A has a probability vector that consists of A and one minus A, where A is a number between zero and one. You've got to have that so it adds up to 100%. Likewise with player B, given the vector B and one minus B. Now, these are independent, right? Player A and player B can have different probability distributions, but uh, what we're gonna do is fix those and then play over and over again. When you do so, as we saw, the expected payout is a function of these two parameters, A and B, given by the vector A transpose times P times the vector B. Do the algebra on that, multiply that out. You're gonna get negative two AB plus three times one minus A times B plus three times A times one minus B minus four times one minus A times one minus B. You gotta do a little algebra there, multiply, simplify. You get negative four plus seven A plus seven B minus 12 AB. So what? Oh wait, this is a function that has two inputs and one output. And we want to optimize it because that's the expected payout. So let's do that. How do we optimize? Look for the critical point, take the partial of this expected payout with respect to A, and you're gonna get seven minus 12B. Easy, set that equal to zero, keep going. Partial of F with respect to B is seven minus 12A. Set that equal to zero, keep going. What do we do? Solve. Oh, this is easy, this is easy. Uh, the first equation says that B is equal to 7 twelfths. The second equation says that A is the same thing, equal to 7 twelfths. This means that the probability vectors for player one and player two are gonna be the same, 7 twelfths and 5 twelfths. This means that at this optimum, each player should choose to put out one finger with probability 7 twelfths and put out two fingers with probability five twelfths. That, I, I did not see that coming, that was not obvious. But wait a minute, what kind of optimum is this? Is this a max, is this a min? Oh wait, we can figure this out. What do we do? We, we, we compute the second derivative. Let's start doing that. What are the second partial derivatives? Well, it's pretty easy. We get zero, negative 12, negative 12, zero for the Hessian. And now, what type of critical point is it? Oh, it's a saddle. It's a saddle, trace of zero determinant is negative. So we can now get our final answer. The optimal average payout from player two to player one is the value of this function at A equals 7 twelfths and B equals 7 twelfths. Plug in those numbers into the formula, uh, do some unfortunate fractions, and you get a very cool number. This number is 1 12th. This means that player one, odd, has a slight advantage and can guarantee a net average win of 1 12th at this optimum. So at this saddle point, no matter what player two does, player one is going to win on average at least 1 12th. But... But dually, no matter what player one does, player two can lose on average no more than 1 12th. Well, that doesn't seem like a very good deal for player two. Oh no, it is, as we shall see.